The first game on our list will be Outlast. Outlast is a pretty scary survival horror game to most people. Well, unless you're an any percent speedrunner of this game, because in Outlast there's an extremely useful out of bounds skip, also known as a window skip, which allows you to skip all the way to the end of the game. You can do this glitch by pulling yourself up into the window which you use to get in the hospital. By doing the correct get up, you'll find yourself standing in the windowsill. By standing on a piece of glass, you can use this to walk into an invisible hitbox which was originally put in place to prevent you from falling off the scaffold. By doing this you can clip into the hospital and clip into the lab's loading screen. This skip saves about 30 minutes from the normal speedrun. The next skip on our list is one of the most well known skips in all of the speedrunning. The wrong warp in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, also known as the Ganondorf, is a legendary glitch that allows you to skip all the way to the tower collapse scene in Ganon's tower. And instead of explaining how this glitch works in this video, I have a series called Speedrunning Explained which thoroughly explains how the Ganondorf skip and how other wrong warps work. I'll be linking that video in the description if you want to learn more about this skip. This skip saves roughly 1 hour from the normal speedrun. In God of War 3 there's a huge sequence break also known as early chain break. By using a technique known as jet dashing you're able to clip behind a gate in the judges of the underworld portion of the game. The next steps include destroying the stones in the back of the judges heads, breaking the chain, doing the first trial fights to load the caves, and getting yourself to the part of the game where you can pull this crank. In order to pull the crank all the way around you have to defeat all of the judges. As long as when you did the early chain break, the entire bodies of the judges disappeared, the game will be tricked into thinking you already beat them, and it will allow you to turn the crank all the way, which basically takes Kratos to the very end of the game. This skip saves roughly 3 hours from the normal speedrun. Grand Theft Auto Vice City has a really interesting skip that was found quite recently in August of 2016. This is done by accessing values on the stack that operates in-game scripts. We do this by having the game attempt to return an empty stack, which is possible to do in some missions. When you do this, the game has to get the value for the stack from somewhere else. It just so happens that it gets this value from a temporary timer from store clerks, but specifically the time in milliseconds from when the store clerk despawns. There's quite a bit more to this glitch, but once you accept the Vigilante mission, buy property, and then cancel the Vigilante mission all in the same sequence, the game's going to use the value of the temporary timer we spoke of earlier as an address in the stack, and if you get it in the 200 millisecond window for the last cutscene in game, you'll be teleported to either the very last mission or your game will crash. I'll be linking a reddit post which explains how this glitch works fully in the description and maybe I'll go more in depth in another video. This glitch saves about 40 minutes from the normal speedrun. The next game on our list will be Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion has a pretty technical out of bounds glitch that pretty much allows you to skip the whole game. After defeating Chauncey, you're able to run behind a chest before it spawns, if you're fast enough. By clipping through a wall and doing a series of tricks to get around the walls on floor 2, you can eventually clip into the basement and fight King Boo early. This skip saves roughly 50 minutes from the normal speedrun. Oblivion will be taking the number 5 spot in this top 10. Clipping is a fairly simple, yet extremely effective way to speed through this game. You can clip through walls in this game by walking into a wall and then quick saving. If you hold a directional key when you reload the game, you'll be able to walk through the wall. You're able to do this because the game loads your character before the environment. There's a door that the developers put under the Temple of the One that when you open it, it will take you to the final quest in the game. The reason why it's put there is because it replaces the normal door and is only used once for the instance version of that temple that is only used for that quest. Fortunately, this door is above ground and you're able to enter it, making this speedrun under 4 minutes. This saves about 25 minutes from the normal speedrun. Crash Team Racing has a newly discovered wrong warp in it that completely broke the any percent category for this speedrun. This was found on October 2016. In order to do this glitch, you go to battle mode and select two characters. Every time player 1 wins, there's a level counter that will be increased by 1. By doing this 19 times on Rocky Road, you will be changing the level value of Rocky Road which is 23 to 42, which is the credits for the game. You can load this level by selecting Change Setup instead of selecting Retry after the 19th time, and when you press Start, the credits will be loaded. This skip saves about 45 minutes from the normal speedrun. The exploration glitch in Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is a great skip that, of course, takes you to the very end of the game much like the rest of the skips we'll be seeing from now on. In order to do this glitch, you go to Hyrule Temple. Jump from a ledge and then save and quit while in midair. When you do this, the game puts you in a default state of being on the ground floor, so when you get hit by an enemy, you'll be put underground. Since all of the ground floors are connected on a grid, you'll just have to walk around this grid until you find the door that takes you to the ending sequence in the game. This skip saves about 1 hour and 20 minutes from the normal speedrun. The next game on our list is the abomination known as Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. This game is the sixth game in the Spyro series, but wasn't produced by Insomniac Games, like all the rest of the games. This game probably wouldn't have been as bad as it was, had it not been rushed. There was a lot of planning that went into this game that just never really happened. 
But not only did it come out kind of like a copy game or an unfinished game, it also came with a lot of glitches. One of which is a skip that skips the entire game right to the boss fight. But head bashing right next to the entrance to the endgame boss Ripto, which is conveniently placed next to the start, we were able to glitch right down to the boss battle. This glitch allows speedrunners to finish this game in just over 1 minute. This saves 1 hour and 20 minutes from the normal speedrun. Alright everyone, welcome to the best part of the video, the very end. The biggest skip in speedrunning is from Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. I've tried to find information about this run, but not a whole lot of it was well documented. Basically, right when you start a new game, there's a small window of gameplay that occurs right before the autosave question pops up. If you save a game on the file and then load it, it brings up a corrupted version of the game which allows you to go straight to the final mission. Once you beat this mission, you win the game. This skip saves about 2 hours and 30 minutes from the normal speedrun. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this top 10. If you did, I hope you leave a like because it only takes a little bit of time to do. I try to make this top 10 quantitative and in order by how big the skips were. Not by time, but by percentage of how much time they save compared to their any percent counterpart that doesn't utilize that glitch. I was able to calculate this by using an Excel sheet and using the times I found on speedrun.com. I also have an additional 10 games I could use for a third part of the series, I guess, and it would most likely be the last one. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. And that's all I have to say guys, I hope you have a beautiful life.